Hey guys. So, couple things on the agenda today. Uh, number one is Rimmel Scandalize. Let's get the name right. Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Kajal. This is the first order of business. Okay, you guys remember that I had bought the L'Oreal Silkissimi eyeliner and I love the color of it. I love the um, finish of it, but there were two problems with this. It sort of irritated my eyes, and number two, you can't sharpen it. Now, I know one of you said that you did sharpen yours, and I'm still not really clear how that's possible because, see that gold strip right there? That's metal. Uh, so the only thing I can think of is that when you said that you sharpened it, I'm guessing that you meant that you sharpened away some of this black stuff here, but once that is gone, you cannot get past this gold bar because that's metal. So nothing is going to cut through that. I had read online that uh, somebody gave this to their husband and he was using like machinery on it and <laughs> trying to cut through that metal and it just ended up you know destroying the pencil and it just wasn't usable anymore so when you said you sharpened it I'm guessing you meant that you sharpened a little bit of that black stuff away so once you get past that that's it and but look at the look at the color of this isn't that pretty? It's like a it's like a champagne, like a pink champagne or a peach champagne. I just I love it. And you know, if I tilt my hand, you can see that it's got it's got shimmer in it depending on how the light hits it. And then it can also just look like the color. But yeah, really um beautiful pencil, but if you can't sharpen it, then what a, a waste to not be able to use all that pencil right there. There's got to be a way to remove that gold band, but from what I understand, a lot of people have tried and weren't able to. Uh, and But like I said, it did irritate my eyes a little bit, so there's maybe because it's got shimmer in it. I don't know. But anyway, I was looking for a replacement for that, and a lot of you had suggested the Rimmel scandalized waterproof coal kajal now I've used this two or three times I do have it on today right on the waterline and does not irritate my eyes um, the only thing is it it is like a mat so it's kind of like flat looking like see how that's just I don't know that's why I liked the L'Oreal one better, because it was shimmer, so it didn't look crazy matte. But at the same time, the shimmer is probably what irritated my eyes. So, But yeah, I like this, but I don't know. I don't know if I like the way it looks on, but it does, it does do what it's supposed to do. I mean, this is the whole idea, is to make that area more... Um, lighter in color and make your eyes pop. Here, let me do a swatch for you. I'm going to swatch it right next to that L'Oreal so that you can see the difference. So, see, this is like a, a matte nude, peachy nude, I guess, but just very flat. So, I like it, but I don't. Um, it looks exactly the way it's supposed to look, but yet something about it doesn't look, I don't know, it looks a little too, I guess, artificial or something? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. All right, so that is that. And I was, I meant to include that in my eye stuff video yesterday, and I totally forgot about it. So another thing that I want to talk about is I've been going through my makeup collection, and I've been purging out the old stuff. I go, I do this once a year. I mainly concentrate on liquid cream gel type products. Those are the things that if they're going to spoil or go bad or develop like bacteria, those are the things that have a tendency to do that. I've never had a problem with 
any powder products, so I don't even worry about that, like how old my powder products are. I'm sure it is possible for them to go bad or develop bacteria too, but it's never happened yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I mainly concentrate on lip gloss, cream blushes, and lipsticks to a certain extent. Uh, and the reason why I say that is I take out the, um, I don't really have hardly any cream blushes, and I didn't find any that were older to throw out, but I did end up throwing away quite a few lip glosses, some lipsticks, and I think I had, yeah, I guess that's it then. I threw away a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks. Now, anything that was MAC, of course, you can bring back to MAC for their recycling program. Oh, cream eyeshadows, that was some of the other things that I had to get rid of, and I think they were all, I think they were all MAC. So I brought back some MAC products, and I got a couple of new lipsticks, and whoa, where did the sun go? <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, let's see. Can I adjust this? Wow, the sun just went in. You know what? I'm sure it'll come back out again uh, as we're talking because it's like that today. It's in and it's out. It keeps going behind the clouds and stuff. But anyways, um, so yeah, I brought back some MAC things, got a couple of lipsticks. I've had these MAC lipsticks before and I back to mac them, I think about a year ago, maybe two years ago. I go through my collection once a year and you know, get rid of the older things. So you may have seen these before, um, and you, you know, in previous videos, you may have seen them before and thought, wait a minute, you already have those colors. Well, yeah, I did, but not anymore. So I wore this in my last two videos. This is MAC Blankety, and this is just a really nice, um, hmm, Nude? Yeah, yeah, it's a nude lipstick. So I had that on in the last two videos, and let me swatch it for you. And this is, the finish on this is Amplified. So there's what that looks like. Just, you know, uh, mid-tone nude, we'll say. And then the other one I have on today, but I have it on over my Estee Lauder Fig Lip Pencil. And boy, if this doesn't show you what a difference that can make, because the other lipstick I got is Creme de Nude, which is a cream sheen finish. And this is a lighter nude, sort of a peachy nude. And a lot of people do not like this lipstick, but if you wear it over a My Lips But Better lip pencil, it's wearable. So that's what that looks like. See, so it looks fine. And another thing you can do with this is if you're not a lip pencil kind of person, is you can put a peachy lip gloss over this that is, um, Look for a peach gloss that is darker than this lipstick, and that's another way that you can make it more wearable. But just on its own, with no lip pencil underneath or no lip gloss on top, it's not um, that wearable. Let me swatch it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So, yeah, see, that's, it's kind of... Uh, I, I think the problem with this lipstick is it's very light in color, so depending on what color your lips are, if your lips are, see I have very pigmented sort of dark lips, so when I put a lighter lipstick on it can look kind of crazy. So I have to sort of use other products with lighter lipsticks to make them work. And I, I really like the results though. I think it, you know, it looks nice. And I just went through, I, I finished going through all my products this morning, and I did find six more MAC things that I'm going to back to MAC, and I'm going to go back and get 
one more lipstick which of course I'll show you once I have it but so my collection has been purged of all the old stuff and the reason why this matters for you guys is because I've been getting requests for an updated makeup collection video but I had to go through and um, you know get rid of the old stuff first because I've been trying to reorganize my stuff and um, now that I've gotten rid of the older stuff well mainly you know lip glosses lipsticks and cream eyeshadows um, I've you know rearranged everything and tried to make it look neater but some things just are never going to look as neat as I want them to because I refuse to buy another storage unit for my makeup. I try to keep it within a certain amount of storage units. Um, you know what? I, I'll just I'll talk more about this in the makeup collection organization updated whatever video. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain more about that in that actual video but I just wanted to let you know that it's coming because some people have been uh, asking for it and I am way way overdue. I used to always do that video once a year and I'm way overdue to do an updated version of that so you can see my entire collection in one video. So that is it you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!